Yes, Mike, and probation is really just one part of this punishment. Right now, students will be uh, banned from the games for the remainder of the season. Students from 7th through 12th grade, at least at this facility. And like you said, that's going to go all the way through playoffs. Punishment for Armstrong middle and high school students being handed down after this chant. The BIHL describing it as inappropriate and abusive language directed at a female hockey goalie on the opposing team. The PIHL banning high school students from all Armstrong River Hawks varsity hockey games through the playoffs and the varsity team on probation. But at the Belmont Complex, restrictions being taken a step further. We noticed when we reviewed the tape, uh, estimated 50 to 60 uh, students in the section. There was also 7th and 8th graders uh, in that crowd. So we extended it to 7th through 12th grade. So unless a student has a sibling on the ice and they're with a parent or guardian, they're not getting in. One Armstrong hockey parent saying his son once played on the same team as the goalie those derogatory chants were aimed at. Our family has reached out to them and they realize that what happened is not a representation of the community but of a small group of people that um, made some very poor decisions. Former PIHL President Robert Sebastian weighing in, saying in his former role he would have suggested a different punishment. What I would probably do would be suspend every student involved until they made a video apologizing and posted it. Our players and coaching staff here are not being punished. We want every student athlete, male or female, that comes into our facility to feel that this is a safe place. The PIHL is also requiring that a faculty member or administrator be at all of the games. Their job will be to monitor the stands and alert security if they see any issues come up and then potentially have someone thrown out of the game if need be. And the county commissioner telling me tonight that there are going to be upgraded security protocols at this facility alone. Reporting live tonight in Katanning, Kaylee Gunderson, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.